Okay, I've uh, been in the mood for building pulse murders lately, so um, I love these little gizmos they're fun to play with. This one here, all we have is our rotor with two flat plate magnets on, both with the north field out. Um, our coil is our microwave oven secondary coil, which we split in two separate coils. And just our basic Bedini uh, simple schoolgirl circuit. But I've put a uh, the resistor that goes from emitter to base to stop itself oscillating. I've run through a switch, so simply by throwing the switch, we can go away from pulse motor mode and into a self oscillator. Up here we have our LED light, so we're coming out of the collector through our diode and then through the second diode which is of course our LED light and then we're going back to the positive of our cap here so um, any power that's not consumed by our LED gets returned back to the cap that is running the whole system I have here a full 25k pot um, and that gives me a about a 1 to 15k uh, reduction um, of resistance or an increase in resistance to our base and um, allows us to drop the current draw right down um, in pulse motor mode but um, if I go higher than about 15k it'll self oscillate even though the diode is still in play um, <clears throat> when we throw the switch and go into pure self oscillating then uh, we can use the full sweep of our 25k to adjust the frequency and of course the brightness of the LEDs um, somewhere between we can have a look at it a little later on but somewhere between um, in self oscillation I can go from 300 or 200 Hertz up to about 1.2 kilohertz um, <clears throat> and that is because we're running on a very low voltage the pulse motor and the self the pulse motor will run um, down to a voltage of about 0.5 volts and the self oscillator will keep running until this cap drops to 0.2 volts um, and that is due to the many turns on our what we're using as our trigger coil we still have enough voltage there uh, to fire the transistor the tip 3055 needs about 0.7 volts to fire and um, a certain amount of current so the current's not a problem in most cases but the voltage is so we're using a um, high turn coil to increase the voltage um, when the run coil has a very low voltage input uh, so we'll just um, give her a little flick here and get it running. Now although the LED looks like it's pulsing uh, once every magnet pass, you can see here we actually have three pulses. Now the blue trace there <coughs> is across our 10 ohm CVR and the yellow trace is across our LED so that's for the uh, pop right down so we only have our 100k uh, 100 ohm resistance going to our base at the moment it is a 25k pot so um, we go up very fairly rapidly and I start to uh, switch the pot up and you can see we can get those oscillations to increase there's three and now we're getting multiple oscillations so it's a bit unstable um, the main voltage across our 10 ohm resistor is about 60 millivolts which means we're using 6 milliamps at the moment 
uh, we'll probably have around about 2.6 volts in our cap. It runs very smooth, very quiet. <clears throat> now if I want to go into self-oscillation, all I'll do is hit this switch. And then we can now stop our rotor. And you can see we're self-oscillating. Frequency is much higher. So I'll turn the pot right down. That's our lowest frequency. Uh, we have 248 hertz. And at the moment we're using 36 milliamps. And as I turn the pot up, you can see we can increase the frequency and reduce our current draw. And with the pot right up, Now at 1.26 kilohertz, and we're using 8.8 .8 milliamps for our self oscillator. Now that's showing you the current <coughs> being consumed by the system, but we're not seeing the current being returned back to our cap. So um, it's although it's drawing a 8.8 milliamps um, we are returning some so this cap lasts a very long time and we're talking hours so it's just a matter of hitting the switch our self oscillator turns off give a little spin and we have our pulse motor again click the switch we go back into self oscillation We can turn the pot right up with the pulse motor running and you'll see we're also in self oscillation and pulse mode as well. And I'll try and get so now you're seeing self oscillation in between each pulse that the magnet induces as well as it passes the coil. So it's a combo of the two. Not a very fast machine, but we're running on very low voltage and um, very small amount of power. Voltage has switched over to minus 60 now across our uh, CBR. Hmm. Probably because I've got the um, gain up too high. There we go. That's what it was. The um, waveform was out of the page, so we're getting incorrect reading. Three point two milliamps at about two point five volts. Oop, oh, there goes a rev head. The goons are out tonight. So yeah. Fun little setup. Microwave oven transformer secondary coils, definitely the way to go. Um, I've had this one for a very long time now. It's 
three years ago you might have seen my window motor I made using this and that could run on a um, 2000 UF cap for hours. This one will also run for hours but uh, that is a super cap of course. So there you go, that's uh, my fun little project for the night. A couple of hours to whip up and get everything right. Like I said, just your basic SSG circuit, um, and we're simply running our base emitter diode through a switch so we can um, switch from a pulse motor to solid state. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching and um, we'll see you next video. So I just thought I'd chuck my other rotor on, it's uh, a fair distance away from our uh, coil, but um, it's working extremely well. Um, 123 Hz and we have 4 north out and 4 south out um, on the rotor. The north field is passing, the south field is entering, so they will be firing together, not separately. So we're doing um, around 1,800 RPM at the moment. A very bright LED, but it's not running off the super cap at the moment. At the moment, we are running off the power supply at 12 volts. I simply didn't want to spin that rotor at that speed because these big plate magnets are just stuck on the super glue and as you can see one broke off when I dropped it on the table so it's a good thing we didn't wind them right up. And at this speed the self oscillation doesn't matter. It's going that fast, it's switching very well anyway. So I just thought I'd throw that on there. Um, it is uh, capable of um, producing some decent RPM, some decent light from our inductive kickback. So there you go. Much fun playing with pulse motors. Um, I have a uh, few more microwave oven transformers I'm going to rip apart and see if I can get some more decent coils out and uh, see what we come up with next. Um, if anyone would like to uh, would like me to build something based around their ideas, then uh, feel free just to uh, leave that in the comments. And we'll see what we can do about it. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.